Okay, so beginning of turn three, and that means all five powers that have been researching tech uh, get to roll to see if they get it. Now remember how this works is um, if they roll a six, uh, they get it this turn, but they have to pay six dollars. Whatever else they roll, that's what they have to pay this turn to go into the hold phase for turn four. So we'll start with the Germans. They have to pay two dollars this turn. The Russians, they have to pay four dollars this turn. The Japanese, they have to pay six dollars this turn and Japan activates its tech. We'll see what that is on the Japanese turn. The United States has to pay three dollars and the UK has to pay five dollars. Okay. So Germany, um, Germany three up next. Okay, this is Germany turn three. Uh, as we saw in the tech rolls, Germany rolled two, so they only paid two dollars for this turn. Uh, they have $56 to spend, so $2 is on tech. They're now in the hold phase. Uh, $15 is going to be spent on a new air base. $24 is going to be spent on four tanks. And $15 is going to be spent on five men. There is only one attack that will be made this round, and we're going to take out that uh, final remnant of the British Navy. Uh, we're coming in with a submarine from Sea Zone 110. All of the planes from Normandy Bordeaux, so that's a strat bomber, um, attack bomber, and a fighter. And the um, strat bomber from Morocco as well. It's overkill, but I want to make sure that we kill it because my non combat moves are going to depend on that not being there. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, we'll get to the rolling. Okay, this is the battle for Sea Zone 104. The um, German U boat U 74 with two strategic bombers, a tactical bomber, and a fighter is attacking the HMS Acheron destroyer. Um, the attack bomber is going to target select. And it kills the destroyer with no defense. So. Uh, no other rolls are necessary and the C zone is cleared. Okay, let's do non-combat. Uh, the submarine from C zone 112 is going to go into C zone 109 and do some convoying. Um, two infantry, one artillery and one uh, anti-aircraft artillery are going to load onto these two transports. And along with this destroyer, these two transports are going to go to C zone 91 and drop off in uh, C zone 91 and drop off in Gibraltar. Uh, the battleship and the cruiser in C Zone 110 are going to go 1, 2, 3 and end up in C Zone 92. Uh, there are some other forces congregating in C Zone 92 as well. The two submarines from C Zone 90 and the carrier uh, from C Zone um, 91 are going to be in C zone 92 as well. The transport is not coming with them. The transport is going to sit in C zone uh, 91 uh, with the destroyer and the other two transports. Um, the two, uh, the fighter and the tactical that that participated in the uh, C zone attack here will be landing in Gibraltar. Uh, the two strap bombers will be landing in Western Germany. Uh, the fighter from Western Germany will be flying to Gibraltar. The tactical bomber from Western Germany will be flying to Southern Italy to help with the scramble there. Um, okay, other movement. The um, mech infantry in Northern Italy is going to move into Southern France. The um, uh, artillery and tank from Southern Italy are going to be railed one, two, three to Slovakia, Hungary. Uh, the two tanks from Yugoslavia are going to move into Slovakia, Hungary. The tank from uh, 
Western Germany is going to move into Slovakia, Hungary. The uh, artillery from Germany is going to move into Poland. Um, the three tanks from Romania are going to move into Slovakia, Hungary. One infantry from Greece is going to move up into Albania. And... Yeah, that's it, I think. I think that's going to be it, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, let me just uh, get all this tidied up and we'll come back with uh, placements. Sorry, I marked it, but I don't remember saying it. Uh, this submarine in C-Zone 91 is going to join the Italian Navy in C-Zone 95, just over here. So that was the last move there. Okay, placements. One infantry, four tanks in Germany. Four infantry in Western Germany. And our brand new air base down in Gibraltar. So Gibraltar has an air base and a naval base and a full scramble. Okay, uh, the income chart did not change. Uh, so the Germans are picking up $41 in base income. They have a 5 IPC bonus for having 5 submarines on the map. Uh, there's 1 in 95, 2 in 92, 1 in 104, and 1 in 109. Uh, they get 5 IPCs for not being at war with Russia yet, and they get 5 IPCs for having Denmark and Norway with Sweden neutral. Okay, in terms of um, disposition of forces, one submarine in 109, one submarine in 104, one destroyer and three transports in 91. Uh, 92 has a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and attack bomber, two subs, a cruiser, and a battleship. Uh, Gibraltar has two infantry, two artillery, one um, any aircraft, two fighters, and one tactical bomber. Southern France has a mechanized infantry unit. Northern Italy has a um, has a uh, 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 artillery in it. C Zone 95 has a submarine in it with the rest of the uh, um, Italian Navy. Uh, Southern Italy has a a tactical bomber in it. Western Germany has four infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery, and two strategic bombers. Germany has four infantry, or sorry, four uh, tanks and one infantry. Poland has one anti-aircraft artillery, two artillery, uh, one tank, and eight infantry. Uh, Slovakia, Hungary has one anti-aircraft artillery, one regular artillery. One, two, three, four, five, six infantry, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tanks. Romania has um, seven infantry, uh, one anti aircraft artillery, and five regular artillery, along, of course, with uh, visiting um, Italian units, an infantry and a tank. Uh, Albania has um, an infantry. Greece has an infantry and a tank. And I believe those are all the German forces on the board. Uh, so Russia will be up next.